most expensive crazy things Mike Tyson owns. Well, you all know the guy. He is truly a character. It's difficult to say exactly what the most expensive things that Mike Tyson owns are, as he's always coming up with something crazier and exotic. However, some reports suggest that Mike Tyson has owned many expensive cars and properties throughout his career. Tyson is known to have owned several luxury cars, including Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and Rolls Royces. He has also owned several properties, including a mansion in Las Vegas that was once listed for sale at $1.5 million, and a ranch in Southington, Ohio that is reported to have been worth several million dollars. It's worth noting that the value of these assets is just a small portion of Mike Tyson's net worth, which is estimated to be around $1 to $3 billion. Much of his wealth has come from his successful career as a professional boxer, as well as other business ventures and investments. Tyson was a heavy spender. He bought cars like the 1997 Bentley Continental T for $500,000, Jaguar XI220 for a reported $470,000, and a Bentley Azure, which cost him a whopping $1.5 million. The famous pet tigers he owned reportedly cost him around $60,000 per tiger. Tyson also spent nearly $400,000 on maintaining his beloved pigeons and tigers. For his 30th birthday, Tyson threw a party worth $580,000 and had celebrities in-house, including Donald Trump. Tyson bought an estate for $4 million and sold it to 50 Cent for $3 million during bankruptcy. Mike is said to have gifted Robin Givens, his then ex-wife, a golden bathtub worth $2 million. Moreover, Tyson started his cannabis empire called the Tyson Ranch as his latest venture, along with other merchandise on Tyson 2.0. But not everything was green about money for Tyson. He could be three times richer than he is today if he hadn't messed up in the past. Tyson admitted that, coming from the streets, he never knew how to manage his money. He was seen as a careless spender. He frequently bought expensive houses, cars, and giant wild animals. He was also exploited for millions by his promoter, Don King. Tyson later sued King for $100 million. He lost all his endorsement deals as in 1992, Tyson was convicted of rape and sentenced to six years, but was released on parole after serving half the term. Due to all this, the heavyweight king of the world filed for bankruptcy in 2003, as it was reported he was $23 million in debt. Tyson currently resides in Henderson, Nevada. As reported by The Sun, Tyson bought the 8,148 square foot mansion in 2016 for 2.5 million euro. For those of you wondering, it's not the house they showed in the Hangover movie. The place that they used in the film is the famous Seven Hills Mansion in Las Vegas. Tyson listed that house in 2016 for 1.5 million dollars. Besides small business ventures, Tyson had his eyes set on legal cannabis. In 2017, he founded the Tyson Ranch, which approximately sells over 500,000 euro worth of medical marijuana per month. Tyson has been involved in the cannabis industry for several years. The ranch is located in California and is designed to be a destination for cannabis enthusiasts. With features such as a glamping resort, a hydrofeed plant nutrition system, and an edibles factory. Tyson has been open about his own use of cannabis, saying that it helps him with his anxiety and sleep issues. He has also praised the potential medical benefits of cannabis and has spoken about his desire to make high quality, affordable cannabis products available to those who need them. In addition to growing and selling cannabis, Tyson Ranch also offers consulting services to other businesses in the cannabis industry. The company has partnerships with other organizations and brands, including the cannabis company Alien Labs and the lifestyle brand Raw Rolling Papers. Tyson has said that he is passionate about the cannabis industry and believes that it has the potential to be a major economic force in the coming years. He has also expressed a desire to use his platform to advocate for cannabis legalization and to destigmatize the use of cannabis. But as we all know, much money is made through partnerships and networking. Tyson though, on the other hand, instead of creating friends and making business partners, was always involved in some beef with other celebrities. Mike has had several public controversies and disputes with other famous people throughout his career. One of the most well-known incidents occurred in 1997, when Tyson was involved in a boxing match with Evander Holyfield. During the fight, Tyson bit off a piece of Holyfield's ear, which led to widespread outrage and resulted in Tyson being banned from boxing for several years. Tyson has also had public disputes with other boxers, including Lennox Lewis and Frank Bruno. In 2002, a press conference for a proposed fight between Tyson and Lewis turned violent when Tyson rushed at Lewis and tried to punch him. And in 2003, Tyson was involved in a physical altercation with Bruno at a press conference in London. 
Tyson has also had public feuds with other celebrities outside of the boxing world. In 2012, he was involved in a Twitter dispute with rapper 50 Cent, after 50 Cent accused Tyson of stealing his style. And in 2020, Tyson had a public disagreement with actor Shia LaBeouf, after LaBeouf accused Tyson of being a bully and abuser. In general, Tyson has had a reputation for being volatile, confrontational, and has been involved in several public controversies throughout his career. But he is still the man. Most definitely one of the most iconic legends of the boxing world. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll give away tons of gift cards to our subs once we hit a thousand subscribers. Send this and other videos you like to your friends and family. Let us know in the comments your opinion about Mike Tyson and topics about other people in the future. Have a good year, y'all.